Hello and welcome to this chapter. In this chapter, we're going to use roles and permissions that we received from ID token and user info and then display different screens for different users based on their roles as well as different features based on their permissions. Let's go and jump into the code and write some cool stuff together. All right, what we're going to do together right now. So let's go back to auth user model. So this is the model that I receive roles and permission. I defined it already. What I'm going to do here, which is very important, is I'm going to have some handy get getters or functions or methods. What I want to do here. The first thing I want to do is like, like it's very, very normal that you define some kind of method that you pass a role or a permission, let's say, and then it, the, the, uh, you know, the method tells you whether user has that permission or not. Like, let's define that. That's usually say it's can, uh, like it is a can uh, method. Let's see what we can do together here. It will accept a string, which is going to be permission. Okay, you're going to pass a permission here. That's fine. And then it will go to the permissions here. This is the permissions. And then it will, this is my logic that I'm going to implement. I say check where the element here is, in this case, it's going to be the permission. That's good. I just name, name it permission. So the permission that permission name, let's say, uh, must be exactly the name that I pass. Oh, that's good. If it's not empty, that means I have already a good permission. So let's see. There you go. I think now it's much better. So very simple logic. So then I have a very handy method, can, on user. And user, I say, user.can, like edit. But I say, well, it can edit, for sure. That's good. That's what I want to do. Another thing, maybe a couple of other handy methods, like a getter is admin, like if this user is admin, like or is customer. What we want to do instead of every time go and check like whether user has this role or not, then I'm going to just go say roles dot there. I will pass my role. So that's going to be role and then say the role dot name. I will pass like a name should be role, uh, roles, uh, dot yeah. Customer, for example, and this must not be empty. So in this case, then I will receive, let's actually make this. Yeah. And there you go. So this is a handy method. So every time I say user is customer, then I will receive whether it's true or false. That's good. And then I'm going to go and then have is also employee. But this time, this must be role employee. Or I have another role, maybe another one I can create, like is admin. Then is like it can be admin. There you go. So I have a bunch of handy methods here. It's very nice. One thing also I want to add here, I want to tell you is like you can have these roles like as a default value, empty array. This is also very handy because all of those ones, in case that like anything goes wrong, then, you know, you have a default value of empty array. So you can always make sure that those permissions will not return anything like wrong to you. All right, that's good. So I'm going to add this as well, a default value. So there you go. There you go. Everything is fine. I have a can for permission and that's pretty much it. So now let's see what we want to do. The scenario is here. Look at me. We're going to have the support button here in this application. And what we want to do together right now is to show support to customer 
and show another thing like maybe admin or community another thing here when the role is not customer let's go and uh, to the menu page we have a list of tabs there you go if you remember in some videos before we have this logic which i said i will come back to it right now and and that's the part that I want to complete right now. Now it's support chat, right? But I wanna what I wanna do now here is I want to make sure the user that I have is a customer to show this. Like what I can do, I can say our oh, service instance dot profile is customer. And then in fact, in this case, the customer, well, if it's because the customer might be null, right? So here is the thing. Although they will never get to this page if they are not authenticated. So, but anyway, that's the way you can continue. I mean, you are hundred percent sure in this page, the profile is not null, but anyway, and then what else? But if it's not customer, then we're going to show a community view. A community view, well, we'll talk about it. It's going to, like, in fact, uh, there you go. It's going to, in fact, uh, show a list of channels that are open. So we'll implement that shortly. So then what we want to do, we also need to fix the button navigation. This is the logic which we want to fix. So the logic here, it says when it's like, let's have it here. Let's say if us service dot instance dot profile is customer, then show the support agent. That's good. And if it's the exact same thing that we want to do also for the type. For the title. All right. So now my customer is my customer is actually a customer. Like my user, my current user is a customer. That's why everything it looks like the same. So if you want to test it out the other way around, it's simple. You just make them all working the other way around. And look at this right now. So if I press the button or refresh, let's do that because I'm changing some state. So now when you come to this page, then it is a customer, but they will see community here. That's beautiful, right? So now you're leveraging your role and permissions. So then let's move on. Now let's go and actually implement community. So another thing that uh, I want to mention right now, so before we get into this, is uh, perhaps let's use permissions, uh, see how we can restrict some functionalities. You remember we have in the support chat, let's go to support chat. We had some functionalities here that we didn't want. Let, let, let me show you here. So further down, we had this message box, right? And in fact, well, first of all, let's, uh, let's come back here. So we already said disable attachment, but what we can, what can do, we can make this based on the role. What we can do here, we can say if profile, well, in fact, us zero us service dot instance dot profile, my user is not is we're going to use in this case can user can what well the permissions the permissions is like upload right so we will say if user permission is upload then see if user can do that or not and that is going to return like a boolean here. So let's take a look at this, see what he's saying. We need to pass in a string, but what are we passing? This is already in a string. So let's see. Oh, oh, the, this is 
like this should be like that. However, we're 100% sure in this part we have this user. Don't worry about it. So then we use this and you see that now. All right. Now user has upload, let's say, permission. If they have that permission, we're going to show user, you know, let me just yeah do that. We're going to show this. Uh, we're going to like give user a permission to say to enable button, like not disable, because right now this is going to return true. And you see that I see the upload, uh, like the attachment coming, but I don't want that. That's the, the other way around. So actually when user has permission, I don't, I want to take this out, disable it for it. So, um, yeah, so now this customer does not have permission and that is returning false, but I want the other way around. Like when, because this is saying disabled attachment. Well, I, if, if it was enabled, it, it was fine. I could remove this, but it's disabled. That's, that's one way of doing that. Like another thing, show command button. Like the command button here is uh, like that. So you see a lot of commands here. Does user uh, need to see this command button? Well, you can say, uh, again, I'm just going to copy this. And then, well, I, I go ahead and use the profile in this case. Why not? I say if user is, is a customer. If it's not customer, show command. Otherwise, don't show command. So like this button, the button that it was here, right? So if it's like, let's say customer, show button. So very simple handy method that we created together and you know those getters now i can actually leverage and restrict some functionalities based on that and you can move on and in fact the stream uh, widget gives you this functionality that you know you can even let's say when i post this i'm able to like even delete and copy you can go ahead and create this uh, model based on the permission give delete or copy like as a button here that's that's good it, this is in your uh of course this is only in your uh, mobile while it's not safe you also need to check on your backend where the user can delete or not but that's good enough because well in application right now if you take out the delete function well user cannot delete uh, you know that message anyway so these are the things that you can do now based on the permissions and the roles that you have. That's pretty much it. Like you now know RBAC and you know how to add custom permissions, custom roles, and you know, add that to your users using um, Auth0 actions for those flows. Everything's going to work perfectly here, right? So now you know even how to use these permissions and how to use these, you know, roles in your application, in Flutter application, any application, in fact, create some handy method and, you know, pass those permissions and check. And based on those permissions, you can show or hide some of those functionalities. You may even go further and create a widget, the widget that is just checking the permissions that you pass. And based on that, you pass also a child and show or not. These are the things that now the possibilities is like endless. You can do whatever you want. All right. Uh, thanks. Uh, so without any hesitation, I invite you to watch another video. The next one, we're going to talk about social logins and how you can add social logins like Google, Apple, Twitter, and other things to your application with Auth0. See you in the next video.